let every mountain in your life bow to the name of Jesus. Let every circumstance that troubles you bow to the name of Jesus. The mountain that has been there for years, let it move out of your life. Let it move and be thrown into the sea in the name of Jesus. I join my faith with you for whatever it is that you are trusting God for. I pray in the name of Jesus. May your prayers be answered. May you see results. May you receive breakthrough. May you receive deliverance. May you receive good news in the name of Jesus. May God's favor rest on you. May God's mercy rest on you. In the name of Jesus, things that afflict you, things that have affected you because of your mistakes, I pray in the name of Jesus. Let there be a new season. In the name of Jesus, let there be a new season. In the name of Jesus, let there be freedom. In the name of Jesus, let there be deliverance. In the name of Jesus, let there be deliverance. In the name of Jesus, be free from your affliction. Be free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy over your life. That let the will of God be done. Things that have been in your life that are not of God. I take authority over those things in the name of Jesus. I break you free from the spirit of the world. I break you free from the prison of fear. I break you free from the prisons of doubt. I break you free from the prison of poverty. I break you free from the prison of evil. In the name of Jesus, for Christ has delivered us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of great light. I prophesy by your life. This is a new season. Let there be a new season. Let there be a new rising for you. In the name of Jesus, let there be new opportunities. Those of you who are trusting God for breakthrough, for deliverance, I ask that God will answer you. He will help you. He will have mercy upon you and grant your heart desire. In the name of Jesus, everything you need from God, Everything you ask from God, everything you desire from God, I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Let it be done for you. I pray that your faith will not fail. I pray that your faith will increase. I pray that your faith will rise. I pray that your faith will grow. I pray that your faith will be stronger in the name of Jesus. I pray that you may be able to walk with the Father and the Son and the Spirit. I pray for that understanding. I pray for that light to be shed into your spirit, into your soul, in the name of Jesus. If you are lukewarm, I call the fire of God to burn those coals out of your life. In the name of Jesus, whatever is it that afflicts you, whatever is it that fight against you, I prophesy over your life that you will never be the same. That those things which God says about you will come to pass. I prophesy that the glory of God will rest upon you. I prophesy that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. 
I prophesy that every tongue that rises up against you in judgment is condemned in the name of Jesus because our righteousness is from God because our deliverance is from God who shall say a thing and it come to pass when God has not given it approval I prophesy this morning into your life Anything working in your life that is not planted by God the Father, let it be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Let fear be uprooted from your life. Let worries be uprooted from your life. Let sicknesses be uprooted from your life. Let evil thought be uprooted from your life. Let bad luck be uprooted from your life. In the name of Jesus, whatever is in your life that is not from Heavenly Father, this morning I give a verdict in the realms of the Spirit that let there be a change. Let there be a deliverance. Let there be a freedom in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that you will enjoy the life God has given you. I prophesy that you will make the most out of the life God has given you. I prophesy that you shall not be barren. May God bless the work of your hands. May God bless what you do. I prophesy wisdom over your life to know what to do. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy over your life that it is well with you. Say to the righteous, it shall be well with them. Say to the righteous, it shall be well with them. It is well with you. By the Spirit of God, by the power of God, it is well with the righteous. Oh, hallelujah. Say it is well with me. Because Christ is my righteousness. It is well with me. Because my righteousness is from God. Say it is well with me. Because the Lord is my righteousness. He says say to the righteous. It shall be well with you. In the midst of uncertainty. In the midst of ungodliness. It is well with the righteous. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Raboko Shili Baravandi. So brandy Kaskeli Baraste. Thank you, Father. Oh, my life, you have been so, so good. In every breath that I am taking. I will sing of the goodness God. Hallelujah. He's running after. You have been faithful. Oh, my life, you have been so, so good. In every breath that I am breathing, I will sing of the goodness of God. I want to invite you to just pray in the Spirit. You see, the Scripture tells us in Jude 1.20, 20, it says, Build up your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So praying in tongues is not a religious thing. It helps your faith. It catapults your faith to a new dimensions. Barago sabradi barada de Jerebaba baso varahaske fratomina Pravademina koshe patani Paul says I pray in tongue more than you all. 
No wonder he has such a life. Imagine praying in tongues every day, one hour. You do it for one month and see the result. There will be tremendous change in your life. But when you pray in tongues, you pray to God. You see that? And the devil don't understand what you're saying because he's a language of heaven. He's a language of the spirit. Barakao zebrenani, badabashe, karadiya, prosofando, meliku saradina. People will say, what are you saying? Don't mind it. Bravo, so varita na. The Bible say, is my mind don't understand, but the spirit, how be it the spirit speak mysteries. Maleku baravi sabradina. And if you don't have that language, ask God for it. And I stand with you this morning to ask God to give you the language of the Holy Ghost. Because it will make your intimacy with him beautiful. Brivaso varadisa farani. Brafesco faradesho bradakos keni. Eledibako sharavi. Brakasko vedida. Elabado saravani. Zebridako baravisha farage. Elavagi. Brakazovada. Mededede diazova saravika sketeni. Yembara dashe farabiko skote lita. Emprova safra kete so mani. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. He loves you. He loves you. Oh, hallelujah. All right, so God bless you. And your mountains, expect them to move. So that's how you speak to your mountain. Jesus says, if you have faith, you will say to the mountain, Moved. This mountain moved. That means if you have faith and you're going through some things, you will say to that thing you want to see. You will say the change you want to see. That's how faith operates. You see, because in Genesis 1, 1, when there was darkness, God said, let there be light. However, you need to be filled with the Spirit. You need to be stirred by the Spirit. You, why? Because when there was darkness, the Spirit moved and then the Father spoke the word. Alright? So that's why it's necessary to pray before you make certain decree over your circumstance. You spend time, you pray, you pray, you pray, and then when you are stirred up, fired up, and then you decree you know, it's like a sword. When you are praying, you are sharpening your sword. You are praying, you are sharpening your sword. And then when the sword is really sharp, and then you cut that thing, and then you make a declaration. In the name of Jesus, sickness, get out of my life. You see that? When you speak like that, the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, it will cut that thing off your life and you are free it's so good to know this thing oh man telebratasco varadiso bravedanish bravesco bravesco bevani carabande sobredani god bless you and have a beautiful day his peace be with you